Okay, so I'm gonna mill out this area in between here. Um, so what? We gotta mill this out 752 thousandths across and 94 900 and 94 thousandths down from uh, from the center line here. So uh, what I went ahead, got a piece of uh, 3 8 uh, drill rod and um, slipped it through here, found the edge, and then walked over to the center line here. Uh, I'll put a uh, 3 quarter inch end mill in and run a slot down to the correct depth on that. So. Uh, bring you back when I get the end mill in and we're ready to cut. Okay, once again, um, I'm touching off with the end mill uh, to the top of the piece of a drill rod. Um, and I don't know if I can get this in the screen or not. Uh, here we go. Okay, so it's uh, 3 8 So I'm touching off on that. Let me zero that. Okay. I'll remove this piece of uh, drill rod and go back to zero and I'll go down half the diameter of that which would be uh, 185 and a half thousandths and that should put the cutter on the center line of this hole. See this? 120, 30, 30. Okay, so I just ran a cleanup pass. Right now, the cutter is on the center line of the crankshaft and the uh, piston rod. Piston rod go. So now I got to come down. 94 thousandths below the center line. So I'm going to start making successive passes to give me uh, 94 thousandths. Okay, so I milled this out. This is 752 thousandths across, and it's 94 thousandths uh, deep from the center line of the uh, piston rod. So um, I think that's as far as I'm going to go today on it. I also just cleaned these top rails up here. Uh, Got to drill four holes here for the. Uh, cross slide rails, if you want to call that. But I may drill. I may come back and drill these after I get the other pieces done. Um, much easier to uh, locate the holes in the other piece uh, coming straight down, rather than try to make a set of holes from he here coming up. So um, it's coming along. The base is uh, quite a bit of work. So, all right, I think that's it for today.